you want to, right here in orientation, click on layout. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to make your own book at home, whether it's a book that you printed offline or it's a book that you wrote yourself. I'm gonna show you very easy, the printer settings to use and a very affordable way very affordable way that you can bind it yourself and if you like printing your own books at home make sure you give this video a thumbs up so i know to make more videos like this let's get right, started. so let's go over the materials that you need for this phase phase one which is printing the material printing your book so number one i highly recommend a very um ink efficient printer I love and recommend the Epson 2750 because it is very economical. You do make a little bit of an investment at the beginning, but it is very much worth it if you're printing a lot of books. You do not have to deal with cartridges anymore. It is bottles of ink that last forever. In fact, when you purchase the Epson 2750, it comes included with two years worth of ink. So great investment. I recommend a printer like that. And also you're going to need something to print, obviously the book, a book you created or a book from online. Now I'm going to be printing book number 26 from the Robinson curriculum core order reading list, which is the Swiss family Robinson. But you can also go to places like Project Gutenberg and find tons of great books. For example, they have here um, Out with Garibaldi, A Story of the Liberation of Italy by G.A. Henty. And you can just click on the uh, plain text or view the other files, print one of the text files in the exact way that I'm going to show you with the step-by-step -step printer settings. All right, so here's the book that I'm going to be printing. Now, if you're printing your own book, a great place to just start is Google Drive. That's free. You can type up your book there, download it, and then print it with the exact same steps that I'm going to show you now. If you want to make it a little bit more fancy but still free, you can use Canva and add their stock images, illustrations, nice titles. You can do a lot with Canva and there's a lot that you could do for free. And again, you would just simply download it, download it as a PDF and then print it with these exact same settings. All right, so what exactly are these printer settings? I'm just going to hit Control P and I'm going to click on print using system dialog. Now right here, what you wanna do is you have your printer, you have two-sided, black and white. Okay, so once you get to this screen, you want to right here in orientation, Click on layout, okay? After you have layout, don't do anything with border, don't do anything with pages per sheet, just go to two-sided and click on booklet, booklet, okay? And that's it, that's all you have to do, don't touch anything else, just hit print. Now, while I'm waiting for it to print, I would like to know, please comment below, what is it that you are trying to print? I've done other video tutorials before, and I really enjoy hearing what you all are trying to print. Are you printing your own book? Are you printing a book for yourself? Are you printing books for your children? Comment below and let me know what exactly are you printing? Now you will see with my printer how it works and probably with your printer as well, even if it's a different one, is that it will print one side of the page like so, and then it will suck it back in and print the other side of the page. And it, it, and it prints like this, for example, 201 and 210. And then on the back, you'll see 211 and 200. So don't be concerned that they're not in order. It's not meant to be like that. It's going to print out so that when you fold it like this, it is the perfect book. So just be patient, trust the system. Now, for those of you that really enjoy printing, printing books, printing your own books, I have created a page where you can go and sign up to receive all of my video tutorials with all the different methods that I have used. And also, you'll be notified of future tutorials. You'll also get information on the printer that I recommend and my secret favorite resource for where to go to actually print your books, maybe in a little bit more professional format, maybe if you're trying to sell it online. There is one place that I highly recommend that is very affordable. So you will get all that information when you sign up to receive it. Okay, so now that my book is almost finished printing, I'm going to show you phase two, which is actually binding the book in a super easy and very affordable way. I'm going to be using just a two hole puncher here. 
a two hole prong like this. These are very cheap on Amazon and some book binding tape and a couple of extras that are not absolutely necessary but are very convenient to have are a paper cutter like this and also some kind of a cover for your book to protect it. I like these clear covers that are used for presentation covers. They're also really affordable, just cut in half, one for the front, one for the back. So that's what I like to use. I will also put a link of all these supplies in the description below so you can check it out. So now let me show you how easy it is to do it. Okay, so here is my text block. Here is the very top of what came out of the printer. And so it is already in order. I'm going to flip it like this and take pages and cut them here. As I cut them like I did here, you'll see that this is 205 and 206. So as I'm cutting, keep in mind, it's supposed to be like this, but this is obviously a lot to fold. So I'm going to cut it. So as I am cutting, I'm just putting it together like this. And as I am cutting them, I'm going to take the text block that I have already and I'm going to just match it up. 197 goes on top of the 198 and obviously 213 is followed by 214. And so I'm going to keep doing that process until the book is complete. Okay, so as you can see, this book is pretty thick. Um, however, these are good for, you know, the two inch capacity. So it's going to be fine, even with this. This one size really works for so many text blocks. So now what I have to do the next step is to measure where I'm going to put the holes and then this little ruler thing is very important because that way I will do it the same everywhere. So just decide where where you want to have them. Somewhere in the middle. And then you do that for the whole book. There's your book. So obviously this is not very ideal to leave it like this. I mean, it's a fully functioning book. However, to make it a little bit nicer, I recommend some book binding tape. I like getting the thickest one for this reason so that it covers the whole spine and also some overlap to cover this. Now this book is particularly thicker and this is, I believe, a two inch tape. It's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to double it, but that's fine. your book.